because I pretty much echo uh, your exact speech. I was sitting back there with Doug laughing, and um, from a standpoint of uh, the ups and downs of the season, uh, some close losses, some big wins, um, you know, I think both of our teams are very similar. Uh, the tail end of the season here, offensively, uh, we've had to, to battle with some consistency issues. Um, I think Davis has had some of those same things. Defensively, I think both teams' defenses have played outstanding and tried to carry the load uh, as both teams have stayed in games and made games uh, manageable. Um, I really do think that this particular game uh, will come down to turnovers and it will come down to special teams. And I think with both offenses and defenses being very similar, I think that those, those two things are kind of the wild card uh, as we go into a rivalry game. Um, I think the other thing is, and, and I think it's important for our team to understand, and I'm sure Coach Biggs talks about this as well, is, is coming out early, you know, the emotions, the big crowd, and, and to be able to kind of keep your focus as you get through that early part of the game and uh, kind of battle through the, uh, the early part of it and to stay consistent as you go through a 60-minute battle because there is going to be a lot of ups and downs. There will be a lot of, just like every football game, we talk a lot about that with our team. There's so many peaks and valleys as you go through the game and you have to be able to, to stay the course and to be able to battle all the way through it. Um, just to talk a little bit more specifically about Davis, um, uh, very impressed last year and this year with Randy. I think he's a heck of a quarterback and um, I can remember the day, Randy, when you were standing in our office, you came up there and um, we were re you know, recruiting you a little bit, not as much as we should have, and uh, you've certainly gone on to, to have a great career and things have worked out very well for you and I have nothing but respect for you and uh, the things that you have to look forward to as a quarterback over Davis. Um, good receivers as far as we got to do a good job of staying on their receivers. They're very shifty. They do a good job of getting in and out of their cuts and uh, have some big play capability. I think uh, Davis has done a nice job on offense of protecting the quarterback. Um, Given up very few sacks on the year, do a good job of getting the ball out and, uh, and maintaining possession and, and giving their, their guys a chance uh, down the field. Um, defensively, um, from my perspective, I think um, you know Davis has been a little bit more uh, bend but don't break, where I think in the past it's been a lot more uh, attack and cover zero and get after you and pressure you and, and try to make you make a mistake where I think they still have that in their blood a little bit but it's uh, not as oftenly seen uh, uh, through the course of the game which uh, I think has probably helped them in some ways and they've done a better job of, of, of kind of bend but don't break like Coach Big said. Um, I think our strengths uh, are our seniors. Uh, very proud um, of our senior leadership. It's my first full recruiting class that's gone through Sacramento State. Zach Nash, Jay Croxdale, David Coleman, three of the guys sitting over here have been there for five years. And regardless of what happened Saturday, I really, I really appreciate their efforts as well as about eight or nine other guys that came in that recruiting class that are going out that have really helped kind of stabilize our program and, and turn it around and, and make it a better program. And um, I can't say enough about uh, their efforts. And we look forward to building on some better things in the future because of, of what that first recruiting class did. So guys, uh, Sincerely appreciate everything that you've done, and there's no better way to go out and uh, kind of finish the year with a with a big win over your your rival, and uh, that is something that I think for both teams that we're looking forward to because I think as you go into the off season, you remember your last game, you remember it because of the you know the the win, the crowd, the emotions, and everything that goes into it, and it kind of puts a bandaid on maybe some of the disappointments uh, that you've had earlier in the year, so. Uh, it's almost like a new season. We came in Sunday and our kids were very excited. It was almost like starting over. It's like you play the season and then you play the Causeway Classic and I think both teams are probably excited. It's like a one game playoff where, or a Super Bowl or a bowl game where you get fired up and you get a chance to go play one more last time and let it all hang out there. So um, as you can see it, from both sides, uh, very excited about the game and excited about going out there and, and competing on Saturday.